I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting questions. We need to evaluate 7 over 10 plus 2 over 5 plus 3 over 2. Let us understand the steps to do it. So I can actually write three major steps which one can follow to add fractions. We can only add or subtract fractions if we have common denominator, right? So, so we need to somehow get common denominator. Okay. Now, how do we get common denominator? This common denominator is also termed as LCM, least common multiple of the numbers in denominator. So, so we have to find a technique of getting the LCM. So we have to get the least common multiple of all the numbers. in the denominator. There are different ways to get it. You could write multiples of 2, 5 and 10. So for example, if I begin with 2, the multiples are 2, are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, so we get 10 as common, right? So, and for 10 are 10, 20, and so on. So what you notice here is that we have 10 as the common denominator, right? So we could write each fraction with the denominator of 10. So the idea here is to write 7 over 10 as equal to something over 10. 2 over 5 as equal to something over 10 and also 3 over 2 as something over 10. Now in this particular example we could easily get watching all these multiples right so what I listed above is multiples of each number right so these are the multiples. However there is a special way of also finding it which I've discussed in some videos I'll show you that we could do this kind of division for getting LCM taking the numbers 10 5 and 2 we know we could divide them by 5 at least two of them first two can be divided by 5 so we we'll get 5 times 2 and 5 times 1 2 cannot be divided so we'll write it as such then we could further divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. We'll write 1 as such. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And therefore, the LCM is equals to 5 times 2, which is 10. So this is alternate method to find LCM. Write for LCM. Now this is a preferred method since sometimes it's not easy, that easy to see the common denominator, but that speeds it up. Okay, that's one part. So we have to understand how do we quickly find LCM for numbers. There are two ways of doing it. This is a preferred method. Now, once we know that 10 is our least common denominator, how do we get 10? Now in this particular case, to get to 10, we just have to multiply by 1. 10 is already there. So, so we get 7 here. Here, to get to 10, we have to multiply by 2. So, so we get 2 times 2 as 4, right? Here, to get to 10, we have to multiply by 5. So 5 times 3 is 15. So now, we know the combination, correct? So you can rewrite the fraction which is 7 over 10 plus 2 over 5 
plus 3 over 2 as equal to 7 over 10 plus 2 over 5 can be written as 4 over 10 plus 3 over 2 could be written as 15 over 10. Since the denominators are common, another way of writing it is like this, common denominator of 10. The numerators can now be added straight away, 7 plus 4 plus 15. Do you see that? So that is how you could do it. 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 and 15 is 26 over 10. Now 26 over 10, which we get here, could be simplified. You could divide both by 2. Once you do that, you get 13 over 5. Now this is still improper fraction, right? So we divide both by 2. We get 5 here and 13 there. Now 13 over 5 could be written as mixed number. Let me show you that part also. Kind of important. So we will divide 13 by 5. We will divide 13 by 5. 5 goes 2 times which is 10. The remainder is 3. So what we get here is 13 over 5 could be written as 2 whole 3 over 5. So our answer is it could be written as 13 over 5 or 2 wholes 3 over 5. Right? So I hope it is absolutely clear what steps we can follow and add fractions uh, which involve 3 numbers as shown here. We also learn two different techniques of finding lowest common denominator. One is to just list out the multiples, check for the common ones. The other one is to use this kind of division, a ladder division which we say, it has its name, it has, it's called the ladder division. You could use that to get the common denominator quickly. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.